Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be filming Denver Comic Con haul. So I went to Denver Comic Con. It was awesome. It was so much fun. It was the first time I've ever been to a convention and I've wanted to go for so long. So I went this year. I went with my sister and my friend Emily and oh my god, it was just Oh, it was just like the funnest time ever and I met so many amazing people and I had so much fun and I just like I can't even so I am gonna show you everything that I got so yeah hopefully you guys like this video so for my costume I decided to go as Jane from Tarzan which was awesome I just love her it was so much fun super excited about my costume it was so much fun moving on let me show you all of the awesome stuff that I got Okay, so I'm going to start with the stuff that I got from the convention. So, this is my pass. Ooh, doesn't it look so official? May 23rd through 25th, three-day adult, because I'm an adult, not a child. I got a black lanyard, and then I saw all these people with red lanyards, and I was like, I want a red lanyard. And then I saw one red lanyard by itself in a sea of black. And I got a red lanyard. So, that's my pass, and then I got this. These were free. It's just a 2015 souvenir book. And there's this cool uh, illustration on front. It just kind of has information about the convention in, like all of the guests and their photos are in there. So yeah, it was pretty cool. It was very useful to have. And as far as guests go, we didn't get to meet anyone. We did go to a couple panels. We went to Sean Astin's panel and we went to Alan Stike's panel which were just both so awesome. Yeah, it was great. Alan Stadyk was hilarious, and his panel, like, most people there knew him from Firefly, and I've actually only seen the first episode of Firefly. We are watching it right now, but uh, I actually love him from A Knight's Tale, which is just one of my favorite movies. It was one of my favorite movies when I was a kid. It's still one of my favorite movies, and he was answering questions. After each question, he would just give away something random that he would sign. So for one person, one the thing that he grabbed was a picture from A Knight's Tale, and so he signed that. And I was so excited because as he was signing it, he said, he was like, it's cool to launch, hello, which is my favorite line from that movie, and I quote it all the time, and I was just, it made my life, like I heard him say it in person, I was like, I'm gonna cry, I'm gonna cry. Yeah, it was really cool. So, moving on to the other stuff that I bought, I'm gonna start with stickers. So these two are from the same artist, aren't they adorable? I got Anna and Elsa and they're like little chibis and they're so cute and they were like four for five dollars so or no they were three for five dollars so I got two and my little sister got one um she got a toothless sticker the last sticker I got was by Karen Hallian and it looks like this and you've probably seen her work online she does all of those cool images of like the they're like Disney Doctor Who mashups. I went with Alice in Wonderland because I was named after her and I really liked the illustration and she's just falling through the rabbit hole and the TARDIS is there and the back has like little graffiti and it says Bad Wolf and there's like a little Dalek down there and just like all kinds, there's a fez up there, all kinds of awesome references. So got that sticker, I think it was like $4. And that's kind of all I got as far as stickers. I didn't get too many stickers just because I don't really have too many places to stick stickers to. And I also got a couple buttons. I got three buttons, but I lost one of them. The button that I lost said I heart the doctor, but it had two hearts, so like I double heart the doctor because the doctor has two hearts in Doctor Who. The two that I have left are this one, and it says live long and prosper, which I had to get because I love Star Trek. I haven't seen it in a really long time actually, but I used to watch it when I was younger with my dad. And then I got this button which says pivot, 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 <laughs> and it's a quote from Friends. This is one of my favorite quotes from Friends, and again, I quote it all the time, so I got that. I got one piece of jewelry, and it's this, and it says, not all those who wander are lost, and I love this quote. I've always loved it, and I've actually wanted a necklace with it on for a long time. Really pretty, and I love it, and it is by Sparkle Shops. And I'll put the link up there. And it came in this cute little purple bag. And I love purple, so I was excited. Two of the biggest purchases I made were these two t-shirts, which I adore. I'm so excited. 
Here's some little video and photos of me wearing them because I'm a nerd and I wanted to be all like, ooh, let's do a lookbook like a fashion person. But they were buy two for $50, I want to say, so they were $25 each, which really isn't that bad. Um, and this is the first one. It says the Marauders, and this was the first one I saw, and it's Mooney Wormtail Padfoot and Prongs, and it has little, like, icons for them, and I love the Marauders. They were my first love. I prefer James Remus Sirius to, like, Hermione, Ron, and Harry. And they're cute, too. You can see they're, like, flowy, and they kind of have a bat wing, um, which I loved, because usually I don't wear them because I don't really like just t-shirts just like fitted t-shirts I don't really wear that kind of stuff so I've actually worn these multiple times now and this is the second one I got it's the TARDIS and I loved it I thought the design was beautiful very Art Nouveau and it's this really pretty navy and again a really pretty flowy cut and it says all of time and space everywhere and anywhere every star that ever was where do you want to start I love it it makes me so happy in my heart those are my shirts there I think they're one of my most favorite things that I got. Um, I really, really love them. So. so moving on from shirts, I'm going to show you books. So I got five books, four book books and one art book. So the book books that I got, book books, <laughs> like novels, I actually bought them with my little sister and we're sharing them. We split the cost. So we got three and then we got a free book with purchase. So the first one we got was The Edge of the World. And these are all signed. The authors were all there, so they signed them all, which was really, really cool. It says, um, Terra, Terra Incognita, the blank spaces on the map, past the edge of the known world, marked only by the words, here be monsters. Two nations at war, fighting for dominion over the world, pin their last hopes of ultimate victory on finding a land out of legend. Each will send its ships to brave the untamed waters, wild storms, sea serpents, and danger darker dangers unseen by any man. It is a perilous undertaking, but there will always be the impetuous, the brave, and the mad, willing to leave their homes to explore the unknown, even unto the edge of the world. Which just sounded awesome. There's monsters, there's ships, there's adventure. Super excited to read this. The second book that we got is called Partials. It's by Dan Wells, and it's a dystopian novel. And the back says, When our ancestors were attacked at Pearl Harbor, they called it a day that would live in infamy. The day the partials attacked us with the RM virus will not live in anything, because there will be none of us left to remember it. President David R. Cregan, March 21st, 2065, in a press conference at the White House. Three hours later, he hanged himself. So, yeah, pretty interesting, intense back description. It's a quote, and it seems really good. And then the last book that we picked out was Gretchling by DJ Butler. And he also talked to us and signed this, and he kind of told us a little bit about the book. And it's, again, another dystopian novel. And the back says, Diane is about to leave the crash and become a magister of the Booza system. Gifted with empathy and an understanding of people, Diane will take her place as a teacher and nurturer of children in the only family she has ever known. But before she can do so, she must pass a final test the system puts to her. And that test is murder. Book one of the Booza system, dark science fiction set in the crumbling ruins and blasted deserts of a future where all people are not created equal and where control is exerted by savage rituals of blood. It reminds me of Triss a little bit in the Divergent novels, uh, just kind of how she was like breaking down the factions and stuff. So excited about that. And we also got a free book. It's called Gentleman Takes a Chance by Sarah A. Hoyt. And it is the second book in his series, but they said that you can read it as a standalone. And it says, Kyrie Smith was raised as a foundling. Now for the first time in her life, she has a home and a place. With her boyfriend, she is part owner of a diner. Tom doesn't mind if she's a shapeshifter because he himself is a dragon shifter. Her life is suddenly thrown into turmoil with a series of unexplained murders. I think it's kind of like a murder mystery fantasy type book. So I am excited to read that as well. The last book that I got is an art book. It's called Kiki Doodles, volume two and it's The Art of Christine Knopp. We found her booth on the third day, and oh my gosh, I just like love her art. It is the most amazing illustrations. She uses a lot of watercolor and gouache, as well as um, digital and acrylic. And this is kind of, you can see. She did these amazing illustrations for children's books, and uh, some of her stuff, she showed us these sketches that she did with watercolor pencil. She would just add some water to it later to really give her sketches dimension, which I thought was just such a cool and unique idea. 
And if you bought the book, you got a drawing. She signed it with a drawing, which was so cool. So it's like a little bit of original art. And I got this cool lion with a very proud mane. And it says, good luck in your pursuits. Thanks for the support, Kiki15. And yeah, I love this book. It's just beautiful. It's a beautiful book. So yeah, that's Christine Knopp. I will have links down below of all of the artists that I have their information for. So, okay, so that's everything that I had for books. And I will move on to freebies. And then I will end with prints. So I got this sticker. It says those shadow people on it. And it's for, I believe, an original comic. So I'm definitely gonna have to check that out and it's a pretty cool sticker. I got this little zombie army guy who is pretty cool and I'm gonna put him on my desk with all my other random figurines and such like and so forth. I got this awesome button that says free comic book day and it has the Ninja Turtles on it. So pretty excited about that. That's gonna go on my bulletin board in my desk. So I got this, it's for the Legends of Orkney and Battlecasters, which is like a book and a game, and the game was like inspired by the book, and if you did the game, you got a copy of the book for free, but we couldn't figure it out, we like couldn't find out where the game was, so we didn't do it, but yeah, we got these cool little like cards, and the art is awesome, so this is Odin, he's a character, and I was pretty excited about that. And then, got this. It's a free sticker from Nematode Records, Denver, Colorado. Cool little record sticker. I got temporary tattoos from Free Comic Book Day, so that was exciting. And then also got these, these really cool free stickers from Wealthy Q. They're just cute little random stickers. And then I also got this, which is a free comic book called Goon Squad. I don't know what it's about yet because I haven't read it but I will update you on how it goes. And then the last free thing I got, I'm actually a little hesitant to put it in the free section and not the print section because it is a print, but it was free. And I have to give a huge shout out to this person. So this was the print that I got and she gave us each one for free. And it's really, really cool, really, really well done. The colors are beautiful and the fire coming from her hand is so cool. And this is actually a character from her original webcomic. And the her that I'm talking about, her name is Monica Benick. And this is her uh, business card, which is, again, beautiful. She's really, really cool and a really, really fantastic illustrator. And this is a flyer that we picked up for her webcomic. It comes out in summer 2015. And it's really, really awesome. Um, she was talking about it and it just sounds so interesting. And this says, 16 years after the Great War, the people of the sea are still rebuilding. Old wounds linger with their former allies, the elves of the valley. And half-elf, half-human Trillia is caught between their hatred. A darkness lurks at the edge of the sea, the threat of destruction looming over the two cities. Can Trillia repair the broken alliance or will darkness reign? Coming summer 2015. And it's called Cat Tie, a dark fantasy webcomic. So that was really awesome to meet her. So shout out to Monica if you're watching this. Hi, your stuff's awesome. So again, uh, her name is Monica Benick and I will post all of her info down below. Okay, so the last thing that I have to show you guys is all the prints that I got. And this is where I really splurged. I got a lot of prints. First of all, I have this set of three prints that I got. It was like six for $12. So I got three and then my friend Emily got three. First of all, I got this one. It says, the cold never bothered me anyway. And it has Elsa on it. And I just think it's so cute. I love it. And then from the same place, I got this one. It says he lives on a cloud in the sky and it's the TARDIS and it's this cool like see-through pattern with like a cloud and I really like it. Um, I just thought it was really cool and I like the quote and I just really liked it a lot and it matches the Elsa print really well. So I kind of feel like I should put them together even though they're not from the same fandom. But And then the last one I got was actually the reason I got these prints because I wasn't, I couldn't really see enough that I wanted to do it. And then I saw this and I was like, I need that in my life like now. It's, <laughs> It's just the best thing ever. It says, Missing? Honor. Last seen at the War Council at Capital City. If found, please return to the Fire Nation shipyard. Ask for Zuko. And if you guys have seen Avatar The Last Airbender, you will understand this reference because... <laughs> I must find the Avatar to restore my honor. 
I love Zuko. He is my favorite character from Avatar The Last Airbender, bar none. I love him so much and I like making fun of him because he's adorable and obsessive and that poster was meant to be and I needed it in my life. So, but another print that I got was this one. It's Matt Smith as the doctor. It is quite shiny and it's a little taller and skinnier and unfortunately it actually got a little creased. I'm not really sure how, so that sucks. But I was super excited about this. I love Matt Smith. Um, he is my favorite doctor. It was a really hard choice. He wins out on David Tennant by like a fifth of a point, like half of a point, because basically Matt Smith is from Northamptonshire, which is where I'm from, and for a brief second he played for the Leicester City Football Club, Go Foxes, which is my team, they are my football team, I love them, I have supported them my entire life, even when we were crap and terrible, and he played for them very briefly, he didn't actually get to like play, he got injured, but he was on the team. So. Thus, Matt Smith is my favorite because he simply has to be. So yes, these are really cool. I just love the like style of it. I think it's really graphic and cool. And they are by Synchronicity, spelled like Synchron is City, like City. Um, and the design illustration is by Al Fukalek. And then the last thing that I have to show you is one of my big purchases. This was the only big print that I got, and it is by an artist named Dalian Ogden who actually graduated from the school that I attend, so that was really cool. And it looks like this. I'm so sorry if there's a glare, it's still in its plastic wrappings. And it is Daenerys Targaryen, and it is done in an Art Nouveau style, and I just think it is absolutely gorgeous. I saw it, and I stopped, and I was like, I need that in my life, and it is just such a beautiful, beautiful piece of work, and she signed it for me, and she was really, really sweet, too. Um, it was really, really great to meet her, and I just, I think it's beautiful, and I have to go buy a frame for it, because I just love it so much, and this is her business card, which is really cool, and she also gave out these, which are like little business cardy type stickers. So yeah, that is everything I got at Comic-Con, except for my button that I lost. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. This video was a pain to record. I started it about four hours ago and my camera's been terrible and I'm really mad at it right now. So if you've noticed the changing lighting, I'm sorry. It was light when I started filming this. It is now dark. So yeah. <laughs> But thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to check out the artists that I mentioned. They're all such fantastic artists. And yeah, thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day. Bye. But the majority of people can learn how to draw. So I'm here to tell you that if you want to draw and if you look at someone and say, I just wish I could draw, but you look at your own drawings and think, I'm not talented, I can't do this. Stop saying that to yourself. The people that you're looking at that are amazing